Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about tracking training using PowerPoint, Microsoft Forms, and Power Automate. So with that said, let's go and let's dive right into the content. So before we jump into the content itself, I want to tell a little bit of a story. So this content was really inspired by a former colleague of mine. So Tyler, shout out for the idea of how you would go about solving this problem. Tyler reached out to me over Teams a little while ago and said, hey, do you know if there's a way to launch a flow from PowerPoint and to be able to track training? So he's got an operations team. They run these big facilities in the oil and gas industry and he wants his folks to go through training and he wants to be able to track the people who have completed their training. And so I'm thinking in my head like, wow, how would I do this in PowerPoint? Because in order for Flow to know who a person is, they have to be authenticated. So whenever we have things like the Flow mobile app or a SharePoint list where we can kick off a Flow or even inside of Dynamics CE and I can go for a selected record, go ahead and, and kick off a Flow, those are all authenticated sessions. So naturally we could put a link to an HTTP endpoint or HTTP trigger but those are authenticated, but the user context isn't passed with them. So that wasn't going to work. So I did a you know quick web search and I ran into embedding a form. And that's when I got thinking, well, hey, that would probably work where we could go ahead, embed a form inside of PowerPoint and then have those people either just acknowledge the fact that they've taken the training or perhaps give them a, a quiz, which often happens as well. People want to ensure that people are paying attention to the training. And so that's really what the theme or the context of this particular training video is. And now like this content isn't meant to replace a learning management system or LMS. There's some very, you know, high grade commercial solutions that do that. But part of the problem with that is that number one, they're expensive. And number two, that they often take a lot of care and feeding in order to get them set up maintained all of those sorts of things. But naturally when you have training, oftentimes you have the PowerPoint, you have the deck, you want people to go through it. Maybe you embed video clips as part of it as well. And all you need is something lightweight at the end of the training that the student will go ahead and just acknowledge the fact that they've done that. And so that's how we can solve this problem. We can embed a Microsoft form inside a PowerPoint. And then when that student goes and clicks the submit button, Naturally, we can go ahead and have a, a flow that's listening to those events and basically pull that information. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to take all of that content. I'm going to put it into SharePoint. And basically then from there, we could go ahead and build a Power BI dashboard. I'm not going to do that in this video. But naturally, that would be one of the benefits of doing this in SharePoint. And yes, Forms does have a lot of features where you can collect information and send emails. But think about having multiple training courses. Now you've got data trapped in each one of those quizzes where if you funneled all of that information to SharePoint site, layer on Power BI on top of it, perhaps have approvals. If you need to let, say, the, their person's boss know that they've completed training, those are all capabilities that ena are enabled through Power Automate and by creating these flows. And that's really the, the seed that I'm trying to plant here is give you ideas of how you could go ahead and extend it. So let's go ahead and um, let's talk a little bit more about prerequisites for what this takes to go ahead and get a form inside of PowerPoint. Before we dive deeper into the content, I wanted to let you know about an emerging community found at serverlessnotes.com. This is a community resource that covers best practices, tips, and latest announcements built on contributions by technology enthusiasts from around the globe. On serverlessnotes.com, you'll find content related to Power Automate, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Service Bus, Azure Functions, and much, much more. Serverlessnotes.com is brought to you by Serverless 360, a portal that is focused on operations and support for Microsoft Azure Serverless resources. Now, this is a complementary tool to the Azure portal, and it helps organizations in supporting Azure Serverless applications. You can find out more about Serverless 360 at serverless360.com. Okay, so this content is pretty important. When I went into my Office 365 PowerPoint version, and I try to keep things up to date, and I even click the button saying, you know, update to latest version, I didn't actually see the Microsoft Forms widget installed. And so I'm like, okay, well, that's interesting. But, you know, then I did realize that I was logged in with my 
MSA account, my Microsoft consumer account known as MSA. And so naturally that wasn't going to show it, show up. So the same software, I just signed out of that and signed in with a tenant. I have my own Office 365 tenant that I, I have for personal use. And I logged in with that account and boom, all of a sudden the feature lit up. And then so I felt you might run into that as well. So I went and did a little bit of digging and these are the prerequisites. So number one, you do need to be on a version 1807 build 16.0. You can read or higher. Uh, it needs to be on Office 365 on a PC. And then you also must have an education license or a commercial license. So that's important before you go further. Uh, go ahead and check out your prerequisites from that perspective. Okay, so here is our architecture and it's quite simple, but I think that's what actually makes the solution pretty cool. It's just how simple it is. And it's simple because Microsoft has made all of these products really integrate well. Like if you tried to do this with another low code, no code platform, you're gonna run into a bunch of friction because these things just haven't been made to, to all talk together. So what we've got is a, a person that's gonna do some training They've got a PowerPoint deck. They're logged in with their Office 365 account. It's part of that PowerPoint deck. There's going to be a form that pops up on the last page of their training materials. And they're going to go ahead and fill out a quiz in this case. And what will happen is once they're done, they can go ahead and click the submit button. And that's where Power Automate is going to come into play. It's going to listen for those events, pull that data out, send it over to SharePoint, and then we'll just send an acknowledgement back out to the person that completed training and that's it it's that simple but it's it's very useful and i can see a lot of uses for this uh, in the enterprise world so let's go ahead and let's jump right into a demo okay so here we go tyler's mandatory training i'm logged in this is my office 365 account and i am going to go ahead and run this training but before i do this is an important feature here uh, forms. This is where you will find the icon. So insert forms. And when you do that, once again, since you're logged in, the power of all this integration, you can see all of these different forms that already exist inside of my tenants that I own. But I can go ahead and create a new form or a new quiz. In what I'm about to show you, I did a new quiz, but this could just as easily be a new form. So let's go ahead and let's go through Tyler's training. So we've got some important info, more important info, and more important info. And here's where sort of, this is the, the core of, of the content here. So here we are, we have a quiz, it's embedded. I'm logged in. Uh, since I can do a quiz, I said, you know, you must, uh, you must get at least 75% in order to pass. So what I can do is I can go ahead and select these different options and finish my quiz and go ahead and click submit. And there we go, the quiz has been submitted. I can go ahead and see my results. And sure enough, I got three out of four right. Get some, a little bit of cheer going on here. Good answer, congrats, yes. And I got one wrong, So, but I did pass, so that is, is definitely good news. I passed Tyler's training. Now let's just go ahead and flip over to SharePoint and let's hit refresh and there we go we've got the mandatory training complete it's completed at 627 pacific and here is the email address my account that i had completed that uh, that training with um, i'm also going to get an email indicating thanks for completing your mandatory training and over to flow power automate this is our solution and once again quite simple we've got a forms trigger and once I log in once again with that same account I can go ahead and select the form ID which is going to be mandatory training quiz I'm going to go ahead and get the details from that form and pass it the response ID that was provided to me in the trigger I'm going to go ahead and create an item for SharePoint and here I'm simply just passing in the answers now you could go ahead and do some logic here to say oh you got this one right you got this one wrong and do more tracking that's not really the point of this content, but you absolutely could take this much, much further, and I totally get that. And same thing here, capturing the time that the form was submitted and also the student's email. So naturally, with having their email, we could reach into Office 365 for users, get more information about that user itself, figure out who their leader is, send them an email saying, you know, I've completed training as well. 
you know, the scenarios are endless, but that's, that's really not the point of this content, but you could do it. And then here, just going to go ahead and send the person who submitted the student a confirmation indicating that they've completed their training. I probably should have said congratulations and given them a pat on the back. That's my bad. That's the demo quite simple, but quite powerful. And I can see a lot of uses for this in the enterprise. So go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think.